What's going on YouTube, Kaigu here. In today's video, we're going to talk about the new fairy will system. We're going to talk about how to get the cores, which ones are worthwhile, and later on tonight, the 27th at 6.30 EST, uh, I'm going to be live streaming here on YouTube and on Twitch. I'm going to be doing all my guild events and whatnot, and I'm going to be throwing away giveaways. Let's get into it. All right, guys, we're in game right here, and the new fairy will system, right? Where is it in the game? I don't see anything special right here. You have to go to Flower Fairy, and then on the left above my head, you'll see everything's there the same, but in the middle, you'll see the will right there. And what happens here is my uh, Eurythria right here, she has her uh, stone right here, the, what do they call it, will core, and then her four pieces of generation. Uh, I, I call them sets because they have different sets. As you see, this one is break free. This one is God Bless Heal. We'll talk about each of those. But how do I get those, right? So it's actually a little confusing. In advanced, there's the time trial. Makes you think that it's a daily thing looking at it because all these things are kind of like that. But it's actually, if we look at the, not the calendar, but if we hit go, it'll tell us right here, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Uh, four days a week, uh, 5 a.m. till 5 a.m., do it as a daily, and then uh, each stage can be... So there's uh, 12 stages, you got to complete them with your group within 30 minutes, and you get better rewards the faster you do it and the more damage you do. So that's going to give you the uh, both of those things. You can also, in the store, <laughs> there's the time trial store, where down here you'll see uh, 60 per week. You can get the enhancement stuff for a little bit cheaper. Uh, do, and then you can just, so the blue and green, the only difference is the amount of experience that it gives. Uh, and it equates to the same amount, 1,000, 5,000, they're the same amount but you can buy them in different chunks. People have been asking for a while about uh, something to buy, uh, something to do with extra fairy experience, and this is a really cool way to do it. You'll also see that uh, the highest rarity of these things, the uh, orange right here, uh, they're locked behind level 150, and you'll see all the weekly stuff is there where uh, here, much bigger number is the purples. Now, you see all these cool names, and you're wondering, what do they do? You click it, you click it, doesn't tell you. <laughs> I mean, eh. They don't tell you what they're doing at all. Now, I've talked um, to a bunch of people, and I've compiled a list. The, um, the full list, you can check out yourself in my Discord link down below, but I'm going to pull it up in front of you and walk you through all of them and which ones I think you should be going after. Let's get into that. All right, so I'm going to work on a spreadsheet I'm working on with a buddy of mine to make this look very uh, look a whole lot prettier for you, but I really just wanted to get the information out there so you don't make any key mistakes. Uh, the last thing I wanted to touch on the last part is you get currency for that shop by doing it faster and ranking higher on the leaderboard when you get those payouts. Now I have all the cores and all the generations, uh, the generations being the sets. Uh, so I'm going to ignore a lot of numbers and that's because uh, we don't know what the numbers are for the orange uh, pieces but and those are going to be higher numbers those are going to matter a lot more but i just want to show you the idea of what all these things are trying to do so let's start with the cores the cores 
are the major effects. Think of them as like the majors and the minors uh, when we talk about cores and then generations. Uh, the generations, you need four pieces to get the the full effect. Uh, two piece gives you a minor effect of like plus, uh, plus 40 tenacity or whatnot. So starting with will core, you have nightmare. Uh, duration of debuffs last a percentage longer. When inflicting debuffs, have a percent chance to gain percent attack for six seconds with a 28 second cooldown. Rigidity. After character takes damage three times, gain a shield equal to percent of HP and percent damage decrease for three seconds with a 35 second cooldown. That's a very cool defensive uh, thing right there. Mantra. This one is probably the weirdest but, uh, uh, among all of them. When using a fairy skill, so this uh, you're able to do this very, fairly quickly if you're swapping between your fairy lists. Uh, gain a stack of mantra for six seconds. Each stack gives you a percentage extra attack and defense, stacking up to three times each. So what the what this is saying is, if I use my two fairies right now, one, two, first one can roll either attack or defense, and let's say it rolls attack, then I have that percent bonus attack. The second one, same thing, can roll either attack or defense, but it caps out at six with plus three uh the percentages attack and three percentages defense god bless uh when in battle gain one stack of god bless every four seconds that lasts for six seconds every stack grants block and tenacity percent stacking up to five times at max stack Gain at uh, max stacks gain percent damage decrease. These uh, when they, when these are giving you stats, they don't go past the cap. So this is where the percentages are really going to matter because you would obviously cap out at a hundred percent damage decrease or whatever the actual cap is. I don't I don't know. I'm, I would assume one hundred percent is possible uh, with things like this. Fighting will. When you hit an enemy with a normal attack or skill, gain a stack of fighting will for four seconds. Each stack gives percent damage up to five times. Uh, if max stack percent, uh, gain percent pierce rate with a one second cooldown. Uh, instinct. After dodge, regenerate percentage max HP over six seconds and super armor. This is super armor is uh, you ignore knockups and knockbacks with a 35 second cooldown. Slaughter. When damaging enemies under 60% HP, deal percentage uh, damage of your attack as extra damage depending on how low they are and drastically remove their movement speed with a, six, a 15 second cooldown. This is kind of built for uh, the new rework of the Berserker class. Fierce attack. After three basic attacks or skills, deal damage equal to a percent of the target's current HP. So as they get lower, it does less damage. But the maximum that you can deal with this is capped at 10% of your attack. So if they have, if you hit a boss and they have a million HP, you're not going to do uh, that full percent of uh, what their max HP is, but uh, you will do up to 10% of your uh, attack and also gain additional 8% damage for 5 seconds uh, with the 20 second cooldown. Now we talk about the will generations. These are the effects. Uh, these are the... Uh, you want to get 4... All of the effects I have right here are the four piece set bonuses. The two piece set bonuses I, I really don't care about because they're like 40 crit, 40 break. These stats do matter, but they're going to be in line with the actual four piece that you're working towards. So starting with break free, if you trigger your core skill, gain crit rating, crit damage. Okay, 
I'll take that. Uh, sprout of flower. Uh, your fairies cooled. Um, the fairy that this uh, generation set bonus is on. Their cooldown. All uh, fairies have a 30 second cooldown. But with this, it increases their cooldown. But drastically increases their damage. Uh, Vigor wind. 10% uh, cooldown. Uh, dodge cooldown. Uh, super strength. When you trigger your core skill. Uh, gain attack equal to a percentage of your HP for 5 seconds. Smart shift. Uh, regenerate HP when you use non-life leech. That is, uh, they say the words a little bit weird sometimes. Life leech being the life steal when you heal based off of damage done. Uh, if you gain health not from that way, you gain uh, percent bonus uh, protection rate and defense stat. This is your very tanky defensive thing. Uh, fast speed, 10% move speed after dodge. Uh, fighting will strike. Fight. So this is, now we have some uh, interesting ones down here. These are ones that uh, get bonuses if you're using the correct core with them. So these are the build around uh, things at this point. Uh all right, so fighting will strike when you're maxed out on fighting will, which if we scroll back up here, uh, fighting will, uh, if you hit them with an attack or skill, you gain a stack of fighting will and it stacks up to five times. So if you have five stacks, then you have fighting will strike and you gain cooldown. Uh, there's really not many ways to gain percent cooldown in this game at all so this is one of the ones that i'm going to be really looking at uh because it does something that's not really attainable in other ways god bless heal this one's worded in such a way that i have a hard time understanding what it's actually trying to do uh when you're under uh god bless which uh you know as you're in combat Every four seconds, uh, you get block and tenacity stacking up to five times. So once you trigger that, uh, you gain a percentage healing bonus, which is cool. I like that. And other players... So the wording of it is that when you give other players life leech, which you don't do, there's no way to give life leech to anybody... It would it reduces it by 10 percent i'm not entirely sure what it actually means by that soul hunt increased damage dealt to units slowed immobilized or stunned by a percent this is also super powerful plunder is also one of these weird one another one that i'm really going to be looking at because it gives you an effect that is impossible to come by four percent of your fairy damage is given to you as HP and if you you can fairy dance is what I like to call it but but that fairy has to be on your board to get that bonus and down here I put some ones that I initially looked at like just hey that one that one calls up that like uh, initial look at these are the ones that make sense to me and that'd be uh, slaughter, fierce attack, and fighting will pair up really well with break free set the generation, the break free generation of getting crit rate and crit damage. All three of these are plus damage, plus damage, plus damage. That sounds really good with the thing that gives you crit rate and crit damage. Uh, rigidity, God bless, and plunder uh, sounds really good with smart shift, which is the one that gives you. Uh, protection rate and defense bonus and nightmare uh, which increases the duration of your debuffs and gives you when you do debuffs you get extra attack sounds really good with soul hunt which is if they are slowed immobilized or stunned gain percent damage uh, let me know 
what ones down below you guys are cramming around your head. And as I said, the link to the sheet right here will be in my Discord down below. I'm going to make it prettier, but this text file is just going to be in my Discord. So you can just be like, oh, that's what that one does. That's what the one I need to buy. And down below, to enter the giveaway for this video, will L, uh, sorry, W I L L. Till next time, guys.